Lesson 8.5, Model and Interpret Division with Fractions. We can use diagrams, equations, and story problems to represent division. We can represent a whole number with circles or rectangles. We can represent a fraction by splitting a circle or rectangle into equal parts. Two pizzas cut into sixths. How many slices are there? That would fit the equation 2 divided by 1 6. We have two whole pizzas that were cut into 6. We have 12 slices. We can multiply 2 as a fraction as a 2 over a 1. Multiply it by the reciprocal of 1 6, which is 6 over 1. We get 12 over 1, which is equal to 12 whole. So n would be equal to 12 slices. Now, if you're very confused about what I did here, you need to go back to video 8.4, which is linked in the description, to see what we did in our last lesson. But we'll talk about it a little bit more in this one. Four people share a half gallon of ice cream. How much ice cream does each person get? So we have one half gallon of ice cream, ice cream split between four people. So 1 half divided by 4 is equal to n. We need to find the value of n. We have one whole rectangle, and it's split in half. Then this half is split into four equal-sized pieces, and each one would be 1 eighth of the entire rectangle. 1 half divided by 4 can be written as 1 half divided by 4 over 1, writing the 4 as a fraction. We multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction by flipping it around upside down as a 1 fourth. And 1 half times 1 fourth, we multiply the numerator straight across and get a 1. The denominator straight across, we get an 8. We know n is equal to 1 eighth. We can write our own story problem from a given equation. That would be a word problem. By being able to do this, we're showing that we understand the equation and what the dividend and divisor represent. If we have 3 divided by 1 fourth, the dividend is a whole number. So we need to think of three whole items we want to split up. And the divisor is a unit fraction, so the denominator tells us the whole items will be split into fourths. And we ask how many fourths there will be in our story problem. We can write three pizzas are cut into fourths, and how many slices of pizza are there? We draw a diagram to solve it. We draw three separate pizzas, we split each one into fourths, and we see there are 12 slices. So 3 divided by 1 fourth is equal to 12. We could also write a story problem that says three pounds of pecans were divided into bags containing one-fourth pound each. How many bags were used? We can draw three squares to show the three pounds of pecans. We can divide each square into one-fourth parts. We can see there are 12 parts. That means there was 12 bags. We draw a diagram to solve it. We could also use three liters of lemonade and it's in containers of one-fourth liter each, or there's three cakes, and people get one-fourth cake each, and there's three sandwiches that are split into one-fourth sandwich each, or even three pots of soup, and people get one-fourth pot each. So each hole must be equal in size. See how they're equal in size? and divide it into the same number of equal parts. Each of these three whole are split into four parts. Here we have a dividend as a fraction, and our divisor is a whole number. And the dividend is a fraction, so we need to think of half of a single item we want to split up. And the divisor is a whole number, so it tells us the fraction will be divided into four smaller and equal parts. Then we ask about the size of each part. So we could write half of a pizza was shared between four people. What fraction of the whole pizza did each person get? 
We draw a diagram to solve it. Here's half the pizza. We split it into four equal parts, one, two, three, four, and we can see that each slice would be one-eighth of the whole pizza. So one-half divided by four is equal to one-eighth. We also could have written a word problem saying there's a half liter of soda shared by four people, or a half pan of brownies divided onto four plates, or even a half bag of dog food to feed four dogs. We have to be careful because four divided by a half is not the same as one half divided by four. Four divided by one half means we have four whole items. Four is a whole number. We have four whole items that are each divided in half. That means we have eight pieces. One half divided by four means we have half of this rectangle that is split into four equal sized parts. Each part is one eighth. So we have one eighth size pieces. And remember, a variable is a letter of the alphabet that represents an unknown amount. And we can write our equations using a variable. We can write three divided by a half is equal to n, so we have some unknown amount n, or one fourth divided by five is equal to n. We could use an x, a p, an M, we could use any letter of the alphabet, really. We just don't usually use the letter O because it can be confused with a zero. And remember that division can be written and solved by using a related multiplication equation. We have three divided by a half. We can just multiply the whole number three by this denominator, two, because it's a unit fraction. There's a one here, and three times two is six. So we know three divided by a half is equal to six. We also learned in video 8.4 that is linked in this description, we learned about reciprocals. You're gonna learn a lot about that in the beginning of sixth grade. It's equal to three over one, we write the three as a fraction, divided by one half. And we can use multiplication by multiplying this three over one by the reciprocal of this one half, which is its flipped upside down version, see, as a two over one. Then we get three times two, which is six, multiplying the numerators, and a one times one equals one, multiplying the denominators, which simplifies to six whole. So we multiply the whole number written as a fraction by the reciprocal of the divisor, okay? The divisor is the one we turn into a reciprocal, all right? If we have one fourth divided by five, we can write it as one fourth divided by five over one, making the five into a fraction. Then we can use multiplication and use the reciprocal of five over one as one fifth and do one fourth times one fifth, which gives us one twentieth. Now, if this really confused you, it's very easy to just click the link in the description and watch that short video. And remember that we can check our division by using multiplication because they undo each other as inverse operations. Three divided by one fourth is equal to 12 and 12 times one fourth is equal to three. We multiply the quotient by the divisor and if the product is equal to the dividend, it's correct. Our next lesson is gonna be in chapter nine which is all about algebra patterns and graphing and X and Y coordinates. And I hope I'll see you there. Have a wonderful day. Bye.